Okay guys, welcome to the demo portion of this. I got the good old oscilloscope going as well as our our LED right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here. We got our LED in place. Like gosh, that's bright. Let's see if I can bend it over here so it's not so bright. There we go. There I got our LED right here and then we've got our potentiometer right here. We're going to adjust it with. Got a nice little duty cycle going on right over there. So now we're going to mess with it. Right now we've got uh, the T on is actually the the most, so we're getting a really nice bright uh, light out of this. So lots of not dimmed very much at all. So now we're going to go ahead and start adjusting it, and you'll see the PWM wave start to reduce, or at least the T on will start to do that. <laughs> hey, this is kind of funny. Look at the refresh that I'm doing. I'm looking at it through the camera here. You can't see it in real life, but uh, with the refresh and the shutter speed of the camera, the, you can see it kind of kind of like blinking. It's kind of funny. So that's basically adjusting it. It's getting dimmer. Um, I don't know if the camera's really going to pick this up. It's just going to show it. I may have to do a different frequency because of the camera. That's kind of funny. But then I can get it nice and bright again, or I can turn it down and dim it on down almost get it to where it almost shuts off and then get it bright again and then dim it down and bright and dim and so it is dimming um, the funny thing is is because of the frequency that it's being switched at as well as the uh, the shutter speed of the camera <laughs> but the main thing is um, that you can see on the scope though is that you can see that it is it is going down and then I'm also it's it's going back up because I'm adjusting the pulse width of it by remember we're analog digital converting this this analog signal here and then I'm using that to then set the pulse width of the of the waveform so that way I get different duty cycles and that's pretty much that's pretty much it uh, guys that's in a nutshell what it is very easy to implement like I said just got a potentiometer and an LED and we've got basically ourselves a, a makeshift dimmer so something interesting to do. I've seen this done a lot like on LCD screens. Um, LCD screens, you'll um, improve the life of the backlight. Um, lots of LCD screens will have an LED backlight on them that help illuminate the screen. Uh, a lot of times that will help improve the life of that backlight will be to do something kind of like this and run it, even run it at a 50% duty cycle, which eh, that's, that's about 50% roughly right there. So at a 50% duty cycle, you still get a nice bright light, but yet at the same time, uh, it's, it's going to be, it's gonna be uh, only pulse width modulated, which means it's going to be on only 50% of the time. So you're going to improve the life uh, of your LED. Uh, that's in there. So that's another good uh, good reason. That's hilarious how that kind of like pulses. That's the shutter speed of the camera. Whoops, I bumped the camera. That's the shutter speed of the camera versus the the P, the speed of the PWM that I'm doing. So what you can do to what I could do to solve that would be to pump the frequency of the PWM wave up to like oh I don't know 250 hertz or maybe even a kilohertz and you'll 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 never see that. But anyway, that's just something interesting to look at. That's kind of funny that that's doing that. But anyway, if, if you see it, saw it here in real life, not through a camera, you it, it doesn't have that kind of like that kind of that kind of kind of ominous ominous glow to it. Um, see now, if I crank it all the way up to where the PWM wave is almost flat. Whoops, without being flat. Let's get some little lines. It'll probably stop doing that. Yeah, see, so it's now it's, it's not doing that. <laughs> oh, well, fun stuff that you can you can play with when you're doing it yourselves if you guys want to. All right, well, guys, that's pretty much it for the uh, PWM wave. Or I'll make ourselves a nice, neat waveform. Um, anyway, that's it for the PWM. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Those of you that haven't checked it out, there's a whole series on this. starts with uh, creating music using a PWM wave and using uh, little piezo speakers and whatever, or piezo, or however you pronounce that, but I say piezo, whatever, um, speakers and other things. So there you have it, PWM waves. Check it out. Uh, if you haven't already, come out, check the channel out. Uh, click subscribe if you feel like it. be great. So guys, with that... Like, subscribe, share, check out the uh, survey. I'll still put a link to that. I'll be doing that here for a while, maybe for the next couple of weeks or so. You guys can give me some feedback on what kind of videos you enjoy and what the kind of stuff that you like and what you'd like to see more of.
as well as uh, t-shirts are at Zazzle. Uh, go to Zazzle.com forward slash M-I-X-Berry. You'll get some, uh, check out some t-shirts. I'll be uploading some more. I know I keep saying that, but they are coming. Some more t-shirts uh, or t-shirt designs, I guess you could say, that you guys can check out, help support the channel. And anyway, with that, guys, hope you enjoyed it. We'll uh, be back with more interesting videos on the horizon. So thanks, guys. Take care. And as always, that ought to do it. Thanks again.